Animal Rebellion. It kind of falls under the rebel ship of XR. We're sort of like a sister group. XR stands for Extinction Rebellion. Extinction Rebellion is a global environmental movement with the stated aim of using nonviolent civil disobedience to compel government action to avoid tipping points in the climate system, biodiversity loss, and the risk of social and ecological collapse. But we have very clear demands, which are a little bit different. We're an anti-species movement. Anti-speciesism is the rejection of the use of the species of a sentient being as an argument for disregarding her or his interests and or life. Speciesism, as defined by Joan Dunnier, is a failure in attitude or practice to accord any non-human being equal consideration and respect. Ego versus echo as in ecological. And there's a couple different pods working in Animal Rebellion NYC, so we a lot of us know each other. So this was kind of an event action that was pulled together by a bunch of us in XR. XR is Extinction Rebellion. And again, it's sort of the first one, so we're totally excited. We hope that it continues to grow. Obviously, the biggest thing we want to start bringing awareness to and standing up against is the industrial animal agricultural system, which is driving climate crisis, which is taking lives, both humans, non-humans. And so we're really, rather than sort of coming at this from a maybe what you recognize more as an animal rights position. We're bringing in a much bigger message here, which is that the system is kind of fucked. Not kind of, it is. So we want to change that whole thing. And that's why we're calling on local government, state government to start looking at these slaughterhouses. There's 88 of them in New York, in case you don't know. Slaughterhouses in New York City, also called wet markets, animals killed upon purchase wet because blood flows. Notice there are only two in Manhattan. The rest are in the outer boroughs. So they are ripe for kicking off another pandemic. And you know, obviously we don't really want that to happen because we're already in the middle of one. So that's what this action is more or less about. We have some really good signage that is gonna hook this story in very clearly for anybody who views it referencing the number of animals that are slaughtered every single year, the number of deaths that we've had from COVID already. It's a much bigger story than I don't like you because you eat chicken. I mean, personally, I don't, <laughs> I stand by no violence against animals. That is my position, but we need to kind of build everybody's awareness of how damaging this is all around. And again, this push into climate crisis. So that's that. Hazmats obviously kind of speak for themselves. What I want to do is start to get us into formation with the banner. So Felix, you're on banner. Thank you, thank you. I'm here to support my friends. It is animal rebellion. How the pandemic was caused by zoonotic infection and bringing up the awareness of how dangerous animal agriculture is. This is my first Animal Rebellion event. I've been as a member of XR when it comes to the climate crisis agriculture. I feel like people aren't talking enough about. It's just here to be a body to support today. We're here to let people know that we should be taking on veganism so that we can prevent pandemics in the future and we can help the animals not have extinction. We're here to raise awareness that eating animals caused this pandemic and it will cause the next one if we don't stop. And it's causing extinction of animals worldwide and we need to end that. Animal agriculture is one of the most destructive human activities. It's responsible for a huge percentage of greenhouse gases 
a huge percent of rainforest destruction, a huge percentage of the methane production, which is a greenhouse gas that's many, many times more potent than carbon dioxide and traps more heat around the planet than carbon dioxide does. So the more plants we eat, the cleaner the planet will be, the healthier we all will be, the longer we all can stay here living on this earth. I'm here to support this animal rights. It's about COVID-19 and my name is Yana and I'm grateful that you're here too. 15 feet so we need probably at least three. I'm actually photographing another event but coming to Foley Square and seeing all these different causes and people coming together is how I think we can do this. And so with people coming together, we can be heard, we can be seen, and it's good to see people listening. of wildlife dis 
disappear forever from our planet. In the last 50 years alone, we have seen nearly 70% of our wildlife go extinct. We must change the way that we share this planet with non-human animals, or more pandemics will come, more death will come, more economic disaster. We must change our capitalistic system to a regenerative system that supports all life. We're asking our city council, our state legislation, shut down all slaughterhouses. And so here the responsibility lies on elected officials to change this system that does not work for all life on earth. I want to introduce Philip Murphy, who is our North American representative for Animal Rebellion, who is going to share with us a little bit more. Come on in, Philip. Thank you, everyone, for being here again. My name is Philip Murphy. I'm one of the founding members of Animal Rebellion New York City and the North American Liaison for Animal Rebellion. And I'm just so appreciative of you all being here. We are here today in the midst of a pandemic as a direct result of the exploitation of sentient beings for food. This pandemic and all zoonotic illnesses derived from and crops in the human species barrier by our encroachment on animals' habitats, by deforestation, we encroach on their land, we commodify hyper-confined animals in factory farms under horrific conditions in order to have cheap animal food. Their short lives are a living hell. As a result of this, we are facing a global pandemic. 60 million cases, 10,000 lives a day lost in the United States because of our insatiable desire for animal food products. Human beings are physiological frugivores. We do not need to eat animal products. This is clearly a matter of tradition, convenience, and momentary power pleasure that we submit these animals to these horrific lives and that we endanger the lives of all sentient beings in a global pandemic situation. It is unconscionable and it must end now. In these slaughterhouses, they have become hotspots for COVID-19. They were deemed necessary by the President of the United States and the lives that were lost to this virus by slaughterhouse workers disproportionately took the lives of brown and black people and immigrants. It is unconscionable. The entire system is an abomination and it must end. Animal agriculture is in aggregate the single greatest cause of climate degradation, ecological degradation in the world. This must end. It is not possible to have a sustainable world with animal agriculture included. This woman is Reagan Russell. She was at a vigil for slaughterhouse workers on June 19th outside of Toronto at Beerman Slaughterhouse, showing these animals the only love that they would ever see in their short lives. And as a result of Proposition 156 being passed in Canada two days before, the truck driver driving that truck with those animals being taken to slaughter struck and killed this woman, 65 years old. Senseless murder. Lives are taken for this horrific and abomination of a system that must end. Join me in calling an end for animal agriculture. Our lives depend on it. Thank you. Animal agriculture. Fuck this shit. Capitalism. Fuck this shit. Speciesism. Fuck this shit. Racism. Fuck this shit. Sexism. Fuck this shit. Classism. Fuck this shit. Colonialism. Fuck this shit. Hunting animals are under attack. What do we do? Stand up like that. When the earth and animals are under attack, what do we do? Stand up like that. We are a movement standing up for all life on earth. Human animals and non-human animals. We're out here bringing awareness and connection to COVID-19 and the continuous murdering of animals and how they hook together. Our industrial animal agricultural system is a failing system. It is unsustainable. It is cruel. It is violent. We must move away from the destruction of Mother Earth and from the killing of non-human animals. If we do not, more death will come. COVID-19 is a direct result.
another pandemic will come. We must demand that government changes the way we provide food to living species on our planet. We must change the way that we relate to Mother Earth. We must Today is a very special day of remembrance for me. Today is my father's birthday. I wear his ashes around my neck and he gives me strength and guidance on my journey as an activist. When dad died, we found a video of him talking about persistence. He spoke of how we need not always fight, but we should never give up, no matter how hard it gets. Before we get started, I would like to do a minute silence, please, for the animals.
if I told you that a simple change could shift the fucking earth? What if I told you you've been lied to since your first breath at birth? What if I told you that the food chain's not a vertical line with humanity at the top and all denominations defined? What if I told you that this tragedy is your choice? What if I told you that it's not true that these animals have no voice because they fucking scream? I've heard it. Now it's time. It's time for us to rise up and rebel. Rebel in solidarity with animals and against the climate crisis. To join forces with Extinction Rebellion and highlight the injustice of animal agriculture and the contribution it makes to climate change. We want to take non-violent direct action to reveal the violence animals are subjected to. As Greta Thunberg beautifully said, when we start to act, hope is everywhere. So instead of looking for hope, look for action, then the hope will come. Animal liberation! Now! We can't just hope. We can't just dream. We can't just wish. We can't just have faith. We must act. Stand tall, stand proud, stand together just as you have today. Never lose hope. Keep striving, keep fighting, keep working, keep learning, keep going. Now don't be afraid to close your eyes and dream of a better world. But make sure that when you open your eyes again, you make that dream your goal. We cannot end the climate emergency without first declaring the animal emergency. But it is those who currently perpetuate these systems of violence who could one day be the same people to end them. We need to tell them why. We need to educate them. We need to show them. That is why we're here today, to build that momentum inside of us, to feel that strength inside of us, to go out there and change the minds of people who need to be changed, to show them what they need to see, to make them listen to the noises that they need to listen to, and to make them aware of what it is they've desperately tried to hide from. We show them what they don't want to see. We show them the truth. stronger than we have ever been and we will see that vegan world because we will not stop until we make it happen. Now we are all here because something inside of us has said, enough is enough. Enough is enough.
Thank you.